Hello Gemini, welcome to your almost personal twin flame reading. Now when I did the reading on Sunday, your card came out, so we're going to do an almost personal reading for you today. Now I don't know if you can see this, but on the camera here, can you see this here? Okay, there it is, can you see that there? That's a rainbow blessing. And as soon as I started getting ready to do your reading, that came in. And I'm going to move the camera up so you've got a better view of the card, but I just really wanted to show that to you because that's a rainbow blessing coming to you to say you are protected and safe and that blessings are flowing into your life. It's so powerful and there's so many amazing things taking place right now for Twin Flames. You know, I feel unions coming, definitely reunion and, you know, what comes after reunion, union. So big things are coming in. So I'm really excited to do your reading today. So I'm going to bring in a great tarot deck for you. We're going to use the Game of Thrones tarot. And I haven't used this deck for a while. And, you know, really I'm kind of taking advantage of doing the readings like this right now because I'm able to show you up close the cards. And it's really exciting. So I'm going to shuffle the cards and I'm setting the intention to do you a reading. Now, whether this is your sign or your twin sign, sun, moon, Venus or rising, this is the energy that will resonate with you. So watch this reading as if we're connecting with your energy and your twin. OK, so what's the energy, please, angels around Gemini twin flames? We're going to do a Celtic cross spread. One card jumping out and I'm going to split the deck and I'm going to pull the rest of the cards off the top of the pile. So I've got the deck here so I can show you. And we've got one card as the main energy. And I am actually going to bring in the Divine Masculine Messages of Love. And I'm going to do a message from your masculine as well. A message from your person. What do you need to know? Obviously, if you're the masculine watching, this will be a message from your Divine Feminine. So we're going to use this deck as a message from your person. Wow, it jumped out and it jumped and hit the camera. So first thing coming out then here, we've got... The Five of Swords. Now, I'm not surprised this card's come out because we've got, I need time to think. So the message right now from your person is that they need time to think about things. You know, time to process what's really going on. And that's the energy I've got coming through in the Five of Swords. So this is a great card because it's a card of victory. And, you know, it depends how you look at the tarot, whether you read it in a negative way or a positive way. You can see this is a time of reflection. A time of thought, a time of deep thinking. So this really does go with this here. And, you know, I feel your twin is working through a lot of fears about the things they've done. You know, they do feel guilty about things. They feel a lot of regret about the way they've treated you. And they feel judged as well. You know, you can see there you've got these soldiers here with these shields. So I feel this is about being shielded from pain. So if your mask needs time to think and they have been a bit silent, distant, quiet, if they are, you know, shutting down right now and pushing you away in any way or there's just a separation, remember it's always protection. And that's why we got the angel blessing coming through. You know, the rainbow blessing reminding you that your journey is protected. So your masculine is working through a lot of their own pain right now to feel free. So that's what you need to know. Now we're going to do the reading itself. So we're going to do this as a Celtic cross. So the first card is the Queen of Spears. Now, this is a really powerful one because this is you. And this is showing you how strong you are. And never feel... You've done anything wrong because you haven't. Okay, never take anything personally because you are exactly where you're meant to be for learning and growth. You are resilient and you are strong. You are powerful. And the Queen of Spears is the Queen of Swords. And, you know, this is really about you knowing who you are. You know, you know you are a powerful, you know, force to be reckoned with because you are a force to be reckoned with. And the white energy in the clothing there is about purity and cleansing energy. So whenever you aren't connecting with your twin, you are being cleansed, you're being purified, you're being healed, and you're preparing for what's ahead. But never forget your power and never feel guilty about anything that you've done or anything that's happened before because everything has grown you and made you strong. And what may be currently in the way? Yeah, we've got judgment. So the only thing currently that's stopping you from being with your twin is their own struggle and fear. Okay, the way they feel judged. They're, they're worried about that. 
you know, they're worried about what will people think. And this could be if they are already in a relationship or maybe they're in a community of people or they are in a job. Maybe they have, you know, obligations to family or they're trying to keep up appearances with family and they're worried about it all coming tumbling down. So it isn't the fact that they don't want to love you. You know, they do. In fact, they desire you in a very pure way. You know, to them, you're this goddess and this light. But they're afraid of what other people will think if they change their life. So that's the thing that's in the way. So I'm just moving the cards down so I can put the Celtic cross out so I know where I am with the cards. So the reason we're asking the question is the Seven of Swords. Is it going to go on like this forever? What's next? What do they need time to think about? You know, you might be thinking, how long is it going to go on? And the Seven of Swords energy is... You know, both of you are tired of going back and forth. Both of you are tired of the situation the way it is. Something needs to change. And your twin is very aware of that. And he's saying, I know I have to change my life and step up and not care about what people think or being judged or falling on my face because I know I'll get picked up again. You know, the universe will help me. You'll help me. I'm not alone. So I feel this is your mask and realizing he's not on his own. He doesn't have to do it on his own. And it's time to change. So I am feeling changes coming in here between now and July. Now, they're giving me fear around that. Let go of the fear because your twin loves you. Your twin loves you and wants you and knows that it's written in the stars. You know, I'm seeing the universe in that card there because the universe is saying everything is aligning for you to be together. And, you know, even now when I'm doing this reading, look at this. You've got a rainbow blessing there. OK, I don't know if you can see it in this light, but I've got two on the table. OK, I've got one here right to the, you know, to the right in front of the camera. And I've got one at the back of the camera, which is a huge sign of blessing. So the message coming through for you is your journey is protected. Your love is safe, it's sacred, it's connected with the angels, it's destiny. You know, it's meant to be, you're going to be together. And everything is happening for a reason with blessings sometimes you can't see. So your masculine is holding, holding that cup up to you saying, I do love you and I do want you and I am sorry about everything. And all you have to do is feel me to know that truth. So your twin loves you. And he's saying to you, you know, I want to be able to talk through this and connect and be able to give you the world. He's thinking about the past. He's thinking about the way things used to be with you and him. He's thinking about what memories you can make. He's thinking about sorting out his life. He's thinking about the friendship, the way you turn him on, everything about you. So he's letting you know this. And, you know, this could also be connected with a water sign. You know, there could be a water sign energy with you here. So it could be a, you know, Gemini water sign connection. But, you know, I'm not feeling that for everyone watching. It's just maybe that's an extra sign for you. But I feel that, you know, he wants to open his heart. He's showing that to you there. You know, he wants to listen. He wants to talk. He wants to be in your energy and no matter what that means. And that's why he needs time to think. And the King of Spears, so he's coming up as the King of Cups and the King of Spears because he's saying to you, you know, I want to be able to tell you how I feel, even if I'm indifferent or I'm acting a bit quiet or I'm in my cave or I do love you, I do care about you, I'm getting a plan into place. So I really feel your masculine is doing a lot of deep thinking. That's why he's saying I need time to think, to plan, to process, to come up with a plan of action, to work out what's next and to work out what to do. And the way you see it is, you know, that sometimes he's a bit of a fool, but you also know that he is ready. You feel it inside and you know he's ready. You know why he acts the way he does because he can be a bit foolish and love can make us do crazy things and so can fear. And you've got the dragon here as well. So I feel you're very aware that the only reason he's staying away from you is because of his own fears. And I also feel as well, you know, in this, this card, you know, you've got the energy of... Um, is his name Tiberian? I can't remember what his name is. But this is about sometimes you know that your twin feels like a shadow of themselves. They look small in their life. You know, it's like he's lost all his confidence where he is and he needs to gain that back. You know, he needs to gain back his strength and his power. And the dragons are actually helping and supporting the connection here. So the dragons are moving things out of the way and creating the way. And 
the way that other people see it is the nine of coins. So when your masculine looks at you, he sees you as this beauty. He sees you as someone who knows exactly who they are, knows what they want and know what to do. So when he looks at you, you may look at him and think, wow, you know, I love you so much, but you really have lost some of your sparkle and some of your shine. You know, I hope you can get that back with me. In fact, I know you can get that back with me. You just have to take a leap of faith. But when he looks at you, he sees a goddess, someone who manifests, creates, someone who's got everything going for them. So when your masculine looks at you, he sees you as the ultimate package, the ultimate dream. And the hope or fear is what's going to happen? You know, is he going to choose the connection? Is he going to make decisions? What's going to happen? And I feel this isn't even about him choosing you. You know, you're very aware that it's never a choice between you and someone else or you and something else. It's always a choice between the masculine not choosing himself or the masculine choosing himself. And all these things are wearing through his mind. So you can feel the confusion and the anxiety and the turmoil that your twin is in. So your twin is going through all these feelings and emotions. And it's like he's got his eyes closed and he's processing. So give it time. And the outcome is the Ace of Swords. Wow. So decisions. Decisions coming into your connection here. And these decisions are coming from your masculine because he's holding that sword. And he's showing that to you. He's saying, I am making decisions. I am doing what I need to do. So if you've seen foxes, you know, that's a big sign of decisions. The fox is the symbol of the planning and all the things that go into these decisions. Because he does love you and he does care. So when he's saying to you, I need time to think, he's being very honest with you there. Because he's making decisions. So decisions coming into your connection. Now I know sometimes I bring timelines in. And I am feeling these decisions could very well take place between now and July. Or between July and September. But I really do feel that anything can happen now. And for you, just keep doing you. Just keep focusing on you. You know, if this is you, the Divine Feminine here. Just remember who you are and why you've come and be strong and keep working on your dreams and goals. And remember, you know, the dragons assist you. You know, this is the dragon lady. I can't remember what her name is. You know, I haven't watched Game of Thrones for a long time. But, you know, she's, is it Khaleesi? Khaleesi or something like that. But she is in control of the dragon. So what this is really saying to you is you have help from the elementals, you have help from dragons and angels and your loved ones in heaven, you are not alone. But the big card that's standing out in this whole spread is the King of Cups because he's saying to you, I know that we belong together. I know the universe is aligning things so we can be together because we are meant to be. It's fate, it's destiny, it's written in the stars and that's what you need to know. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.